Malayo man, malapit din, pilit pa rin mararating. Ewan ko kung napakinggan nyo yan, bahagi na isang kanta. Pero of course, kasi nga, papunta na tayo at malapit na tayo makarating sa ating semifinals. Ito po ang ating ball game natin sa inyo para sa araw na ito ng lunes. Panibagong linggo na naman ang bakbakan dito sa UCBL. Our time to shine, of course, ang uh, Olivares laban nga sa San Lorenzo. Mamaya ang Diliman College naman laban sa University of Batagas. Patuloy po tayo dito sa Olivares Coliseum sa Sukat Paranaque. Benji Santiago kasama ko pa rin dito si Coach Bujing Akot. Kumbaga, ilang playing days na lang tayo, Coach Bujing, at papasok na tayo dun sa ating semifinals. Ito na yung masasabi natin, laban kung laban. No? Dito magkakasubukan ngayon ang CDSL at saka ang Olivares. Very crucial game for both teams. One, one team wants to secure yung first slot The other team wants to secure yung third slot. Yeah, yeah. Ganon ka-importante ang ball game natin ngayon. Para malaman nila kung alin yung binabanggit ng mga teams na involved dyan. Ano? Ito ang ating team standings. Oh, basically, ang Coleo de San Lorenzo is in the number two spot. Ang CEU Scorpions with standing of 11-1, eh, sila yung number one na may kartada ngayon. Ang Olivares Sea Lions 8-4 at ang kanya lang kasunod dyan ni Diliman Blue Dragons. Gusto nila magkaroon ng separation, uh -oh. Benji. No? Pag nanalo ang Olivares dito, magkakaroon sila ng big chance to secure number 3 spot. Ang Culeo de San Lorenzo naman, if they win, tie sila ng CEU Scorpions, eh hindi pa sila naglalaban dito sa second round. So there's a big chance that they will be able to secure the twice to beat advantage. Alam mo kung talagang tutusin, buo na eh, yung ating top four eh. Position na lang ang nangyayari rito. At tatlo dun sa ating top four ang maglalaro para sa araw na ito. Of course, yung binabanggit nga natin, Olivares will take on San Lorenzo. Pag-usapan natin ng Olivares. Coming off that heartbreaking loss just last Saturday laban sa defending champion CEU Scorpions. Kumbaga, lumamang sila ng sampu pero at the end, still falling short and losing by just three, 67-64 ang naging final score dyan. Masasabi ko doon, composure. Nawala ang composure, ang intensity ng depensa ng, CEU, uh, ng Olivares C. Lions against CEU on their last game. But it was a breakout game for Vini Kevin Bigasso who scored 15 points, 14 rebounds. It was a big game for him. Namiesta siya dahil walang Roderick Ebondo sa ball game. Richmond Sunga, 11 points, 2 rebounds. But at the end of the day, they have to fight back and win this ball game. Well, basically, malakas din yung kanilang makakalaban rito. No? Of course, si Coach Mike Sagigit and his boys, ano nga yung sinasabi niya? Isa lang ang tumalo sa atin, si Orlan Wamar lang na si CEU Scorpions. Pero right now, sino kaya ang tututukan nila ng kanilang depensa laban dito sa San Lorenzo? So, segue na tayo, papunta rito sa Colegio de San Lorenzo Griffins. Coach Bonnie Garcia and his boys, their last game was against TIP. And of course, lagi naman natin inaasahan ang show to be put on by none other than their main man, Solomon Yo Chabio. Uh, it was really a big show for Chabio with 19 points, 15 rebounds. And uh, si John Formento also helped out with 19 po points and 6 rebounds. Kalyano is it, normal, normal output niyan with 10 points and 1 rebound. Pero ang importante dito, they got that win without John John Gabriel, who's the number one center of the Griffins. And as we go along, pag-uusapan po natin yan, yung sitwasyon nga ni John John Gabriel para sa San Lorenzo. And not only that, we're also going to keep you updated with the uh, leading performers natin para dito sa Season 2 ng UCBL. So stand by lang kayo, it's Olivares Sea Lions going up against Colegio de San Lorenzo Griffin Griffins when we come back once again this is UCBL season 2 our time to shine
Gentlemen, and welcome back here at the Olivares College Coliseum as we kick off another week of UCBL Season 2. Against the Colegio de San Lorenzo Griffins. And now, let's meet the starting lineups. First up, for the Olivares College Sea Lions. At point guard number five, Mamer Navarro. At shooting guard number 10, Archie Sunga. Power forward number 14, J. Boy Solis. At center number 12, Vinny Bagasso. And at small forward number 8, Dwight Sagigan. Their head coach is Mike Sagigan. Give it up for the Olivares College. Sea Lions! And now make way for the Colegio de San Lorenzo Griffins! At point guard number 10, Tristan Lama! Shooting guard number 27, James Alvarado! Our forward number one, Shello Sublime. Small forward number 19, John Rojas. And the man in the middle, number 23, Salmain Xavier. Their head coach is Bonnie Garcia. Once again, give it up for the Oliva Colegio de San Lorenzo, Gritty Griffins. Officials for the ball game are Ferdinand Pasquale, Alan Manzano, and Jeff Ablola. Once again, this is season two of UCBL. Ang buling pagharap ng Olivares at Colegio de San Lorenzo. See, si Mamel Navarro is starting para rito sa Olivares. The last time round, he came off the bench. It was Joshua Almaheda who started for them. Soliman Chabio, talunan between him and Vin Begaso in the first possession. Para rito sa panig ng San Lorenzo. Frigo Hyperflex Jeans, as always, kaagapay po ng UCBL sa aming pag sa inyo ng mga ball games. Uh, it was a short jumper by James Alvarado. Uh, Dwight Sagigir has to do a better job in uh, defending the perimeter of uh, Alvarado. Right now, Ethos Dwight Sagigir going J-Boy Solis for the short jumper that goes in. It's a good sign for J-Boy Solis to hit that uh, short jumper. And uh, birthday boy natin yan, si J-Boy Solis. Yon! Happy birthday. Let's see kung talagang tuloy-tuloy na siyang happy for today. It's now to all First quarter pa lamang tayo. These two teams, yung pag-asa ng Olivares na still pumasok pa rin sa ating top two. Because yung ating top two teams will have a twice-to-beat advantage laban dun sa three and four. So there was a push on an offensive foul by Jelo Sablan against Mamer Navarro. So maganda yun, ano? Mamer Navarro stood his ground. Pero dito nakabawi naman kaagad si Jello Sablan against uh, Rich Monsunga. Naibalik ang possession para rito sa San Lorenzo. Sablan made the mistake earlier, correcting his mistake and creating that turnover. Laman, now this is the guy we're talking about. Jello Sablan with a quick spin. Wala. Nandun si Solomon Chamio. Wala pa rin. And Dwight Sagigit going Mamer Navarro. Alam mo, pagpasok pa lang nitong first five ni Coach Mike Sagigit, iba yung game face ng kanyang mga boys dito. Seryoso, walang umingiti. Sagigit pulls up for the three. Wala. And Jelo Sablan, the rebound. 
They go James Alvarado. Outside shot that won't work. And Archie Sula with a long pass. Quickly underneath. And a Vin Bigasso bothered by Shabio. Sablan has it. Still score nothing to all. Soliman Chabio and a foul is going to be called laban dito kay Vin Begasso. Uh, it would be hard for Vin Begasso to play uh, post defense against Chabio. Chabio is much quicker, much taller. Oh, kaya nga doon sinasabihan siya ni May Coach demo Mike. Pa. Oh, ni Mike, demo pa. Coach Mike oh. sa gigit, di ba? Yeah, you gotta play defense laterally. But, you know, there will be an adjustment for Coach Mike Sagigit, I'm pretty sure. It's either going to be an early double or just wait for Chabio to commit, you know, uh, a turnover para mawala ng, ano, madisrap yung kanyang flow. Well, it's 4-2 right now para San Lorenzo's J-Boy Solis. A turnover against Olivares. So both teams are, ano, uh, putting pressure from the backcourt. You know, talking about uh, Olivares, you know, giving pressure, lalo na ngayon kay Tristan Laman, si Navarro. John Rojas now, Solomon Chamillo with a quick spin, bothered by J-Boy Solis. So there was the adjustment already, Benji. J-Boy Solis now taking on Chamillo. So nag-switch na si Bigasso at si Chamillo. Sunga has it. Sunga. Scoops one, Ayaw. Ball is lost. Underneath by James Alvarado. Shot clock 12. Para sa Olivares. They're down by two. Long inbound going Vin Bigasso. Solis against John Rojas. Shot clock down to four. Sunga. Solis, baseline jumper. Umawa pumasok. Four points for J-Boy Solis. Ang maganda nito. Mapipilitan lumabas si Chabeo to defend him from, to defend him sa perimeter. Tabla tayo buli. For all. John Rojas going. Solomon Chabeo playing the outside. Now Chabeo. Atras muna. Then he attacks again. Turns. Hule! With J-Boy Solis. That was a good defense by J-Boy Solis. J-Boy goes for the three. Ay, offline. Mukhang uh, dumula sa kamay niya. He tries again. And still offline. But they're getting those offensive rebounds. Yung binabanggit mo, lumalabas sa depensa. Itong si Chabio trying to defend against J-Boy Solis. Sagigit. Three-second shot clock. And he's called for an offensive foul. Yes. Kitang-kita yun ang ating referee si Bong Pascual. Pero ito, makikita natin yung shot block dito. Ang haba talaga ng galamay ni J-Boy Solis. We have to understand, J-Boy Solis is also one of the best shot blocker of C -E, uh, the Sea Lions. Well, he's number three overall. Almost two shot blocks per ball game. There was even a time he came up with seven shot blocks in one game. Laman. Umababa shot clock para sa San Lorenzo. Tristan Laman. Quick turn for James Alvarado. Falls short. Tapik ng bola. It ends up with Dwight Sagigit. Quick play! Vin Bigasso with a finish. That's the second time around na ginawa yan ni Bigasso and Navarro. The first try nagbintes but this time it was a successful layup by Vin Bigasso. Chabio will have to think twice before attacking the defense of J-Boy Solis. Sablan almost losing it. Chabio drop pass inside. John Rojas. Nope. Chabio is there. He gets it back. Chabio again. Tries. You, know, you got to put a body on Chabio. Because he, he always and will always try to out jump everybody. Well, the guy is number two when it comes to rebounding. Archie Sua buries the three-pointer. Good reversal play by Dwight Sagigi to an open Richmond Sunga for three points. 9-6. Inside five minutes. First quarter. Chamio attacking. Chamio Naiwanan. And to J-Boy Solis. Chamio will always like to go to his right side. 
they got a shadow that right side. Force him to go left to slow him down. One point lead para sa Olivares. Sunga setting up Begaso underneath. Oh, maganda yung ano, no, idea nila to drop past the ball to win Begaso. But there were three quick uh, defenders. You know, blue shirt to defend and block that shot of uh, Bin Begaso. Ito na Paolo Castro replacing Dwight Sagigit. Nasa loob na rin si John Rabe. Pinilitan si J-Boy Solis. Bola ng Olivares and they have a one-point lead. Sunga, now against Chabio. Sunga, going Vin Bigasso, wala. And a loose ball foul against Vin Bigasso, his second. Again, repeatedly, you gotta box out Chabio. Dahil pag nagkaroon niya ng konting espasyo, he will jump high and you will not be able to get that rebound anymore. Samantala, uy, ang technical head ng JBD Production. Ha? Si Ricardo Bautista is celebrating a birthday today. Happy birthday! A happy birthday, Ayan. Ricardo Bautista. Ayan. Ang nickname niya, napaka-cute. Ano? Bugoy. Ano? <laughs> Bugoy. Bugoy. <laughs> Bugoy. <In your. laughs> Dalawang bracket. Bugoy. 10-9. San Lorenzo. Ang daming mag- May parating pa ng birthday, ha? Si Chantal Arboleda. Oo, oh, birthday ni Chantal sa oh. Wednesday. Tapos si J-Boy Solis, birthday ngayon. Birthday ngayon. November talaga. Kakaiba ang November. Yes. Si Miss Kami daw nung November 1. Oh, birthday ni Kami, <laughs> November 1. Then 9 San Lorenzo, nakakalamang sa kanilang bola. Si Charles Calliano ngayon nasa loob na. Kinalitan si Tristan Laman. Charles Calliano was able to register double figures sa kanyang uh, scoring the last time around against TIP. This is Paolo Castro. Castro is blocked. Ayun, kakapasok pala ni Charles Calyano umatake, umatake ka agad sa depensa So sabi ni Coach Bonnie Garcia Settle down Close ball game here 10-9 para sa San Lorenzo This is just the first quarter Dito tayo ngayon sa UCBL 2017 sa ating uh, first game for today. Ako po si Nikki Viola at nangunguna ang Colegio de San Lorenzo Griffins with a score of uh, 10 points against Olivares College na 9 points and naman. Okay, at ngayon we have the latest update regarding the status of John John Gabriel ng CDSL na recently ay na-draft sa Pro League. Well, according to uh, UCBL ay talaga school of property pa rin si uh, John John Gabriel. Kaya naman, tingnan natin kung ano mga pwedeng mangyari sa mga susunod na araw and according to that, ay nakausap ko rin si uh, Coach Oboni Garcia kanina. At uh, nagkausap doon sila ni John John Gabriel. No? At sinabi nito na toto pa rin daw ang magiging suporta ni John John sa buong team. At uh, one of these days ay makikita natin si uh, John John Gabriel dito sa UCBL na para suportahan ang buong CDSL team. Back to you guys. Ayan, thank you very much, eh, Kim Domingo. Este, Nicky Viola pala. <laughs> Oh well, balik na natin. Congratulations mo na kay John John Gabriel. Yeah, guys, sabi balik na natin. Oh. Uh, John John Gabriel, uh, that's a ano yan, pride yan ng UCB. Yes. Kaya nga congratulations to uh, John John Gabriel. Sea Lions 5 of 12, 4 of 15 naman ng San Lorenzo. It's now Olivares by 1, 4 0 when it comes to assists favoring Olivares here in the first quarter. Shot from the outside for John Rabe. Ayo Komunekta and Chabio lets it go. Out. Yung bola. Two minutes and 37. Olivares by one. Ito, pagpasok dito ni Noy Bermudez, no? palitan si Rich Monsungam. Because Coach Mike Sagigit wants to have a, a, a premium scorer 
So he needs Noy Bermudez and Paolo Castro to go hand in hand in dito sa kanilang opensa. Alam mo si Chris Lalata na sa loob na para sa Olivares. He's the one guarding Solomon Chabio. Chabio on the attack. Hindi maiangat yung bola. And he lost it. Tumama pa sa kanyang hita yung bola bago lumabas. That was a good help side defense by uh, John Uduba. You know, Chris Lelata shadowed this right side ni Chabio. He attacks to the left. Yun. Nagkaroon ng pagbabago sa kanyang pag-atake. Robert trying to get the baseline. Takes it out. Paulo Castro. Noy Bermudez for three. It's an air ball. John Formento in the game. One of their shooters para San Lorenzo at 19 in their previous game. As we take a look at Charles Caliano uh, going jealous Sablan. Sablan underneath. Triple teamed. Nawala yung bola. Lalata going to Paulo Castro. Olivares by one. Paulo Castro firing away, getting his first two. Well, he's known for that. Yung mga pull-up jumper na yun, Paulo Castro, he has to perfect that. You know, as a, an off-guard player, kailangan maganda talaga yung percentage mo sa labas. Guys, number 10, when it comes to scoring overall, ha, umakyat na ang level at ranking nitong si Paulo Castro when it comes to scoring here sa UCBL. Shot back down to four para sa panig na San Lorenzo. Caliano falls short. Louis Vargas keeps it alive. Chabio. Lalata on him again. Chabio near the basket. Umangat. Thought he had it clean. They had the right idea. Force him to the left. Maganda yan. Paulit-ulit natin sinasabi yan because that's one of the weakness ni Chabio. You know, that's that's one arsenal that he has to develop if he wants to play better. Solomon Chabio, of course, siya nga talaga ang tinututukan ng depensa ng Olivares. He has seven points and five rebounds dito sa ballgame. Make it eight points. Eh di ba dati, binibila nga natin kay Chabio. Bago mag-first half, double-double na yan. Yes, yan yung <laughs> hinihintay natin na makuha niyang statistics eh. eh. First quarter natin, 42 seconds na lamang na natitira. Paulo Castro already has two points. Now, he got blocked by Solomon Chabio. Formento going to Chabio. Chabio against Paulo Castro. Spinning, turnaround shot is in! Difficult hey. shot converted by Chabio. A, a single coverage cannot stop uh, Chabio. Kailangan talaga double team. You know, that's the only way you can stop Chabio. Seesaw battle. Before we end the first quarter, Lamanga San Lorenzo trying to grab back the lead on Olivares. Noy Bermudez has it. As they go, Paulo Castro. He still fires. And so far, things have been so close. Dito sa ating first quarter as it ended. Olivares, they're down. And San Lorenzo just up by one. Welcome back dito po sa UCBL sa ating coverage. Ito na po yung uh, ating mga updates when it comes to scoring. Ang uh, Diliman with Adama Jakite. Siya ang nangunguna. At number two nga po, itong si Solomon Chabio who's still playing in this ball game. Jorey Napoles. How about that? Huh? He is at number three. And then Dominic Fajardo, the reigning MVP, coming in at fourth. And Raul Yemeli ng University of Batangas to wind up yung ating top five when it comes to scoring. So sila yung ating mga scoring machines. And that guy, Chabio, is number two as of the moment. Pero number one siya sa Griffins. Oo, oh, oh, totoo yan. Hindi naman papayag yan kasi meron pa siyang ilang games pa tong ilalaroin ni Chabio. So basically, he has to showcase more of his talent. 
And it's also going to be interesting dahil uh, ang next assignment nitong San Lorenzo, they will be going up against CEU Scorpions, the currently number one. But Frigo in- Hyperflex, tagging number one yan. Uh, Siyempre, boss Edster C. Diba? Pero balikan natin yung uh, remaining games dito na San Lorenzo. San Lorenzo has two more games after yes. Olivares. And they have to win three games. No, if they lose three games and uh, Olivares including goes, this one, oh, including this one, and wins all the games ng Olivares, magtatay pa sila. Diba? So magkakaroon pa sila ng quotient system. So it will be hard. So para dito sa CDSL, they just have to win this game tsaka para ma-secure nila a twice to beat advantage. Yun ang uh, actually mahigpit na pinaglalabanan para sa ball game na ito. Eh. Yung having the twice to beat advantage. Currently nga, number two. Etong San Lorenzo. So we take a look at Charles Colliano. A match table. Uh, Charles Colliano attacking the basket. Rabe play foiled by Jelo Sablan. John Formento right now behind the back. Wow. I'm pretty sure Coach Bonnie Garcia will not be happy with that fancy pass. It could have been an easy two points, but John Formento, you know, decided to do a Harlem Grove trotter pass. <laughs> Ayun na nga. Nasaban na si John Formento. And I'm pretty sure may, is, ayan, may word si Coach Bonnie Garcia sa kanya. Uh-huh. What are you doing? Kulang na lang. Pitsirahan siya. Ano yun? No? <laughs> si hey, John Formento. A- eh. Any coaches would not like to have that kind of pass. Especially, galito ka importante yung ball game. A three-point lead. Di madagdagan ni Charles Caliano in that drive. Noy Bermudez. Paolo Castro with a catch and shoot. Falls short. And rebound, Luis Vargas. San Lorenzo by three. Chavio drop pass inside. Going to Jelo Sablan. That was a good pass by Chavio. Nakita niya si Jelo Sablan. Match open underneath the basket for a high percentage shot. Largest lead so far here in the first half. San Lorenzo by five. Inside, J. Boy Solis puts it up. Wala. He has to change his shot. Diba? Pag bigla tumalun eh. Kaya ka eh. Gulat Kapili, din siya. Sabi ni J-Boy, eh, birthday ko eh. <laughs> Kahit na. <laughs> Chabio going nowhere with that pass. Archie Sunga. At ang bola lumabas. J-Boy Solis nasa backcourt. He seems to be hurt. Well, after that uh, challenge, hey, Chabio, bigla na lang bumagsak si J-Boy Solis. So I'm pretty sure yung referee natin, Chichikin, takko. Mukhang sa sensitibong bahagi ng katawan. Tinamaan. Oo nga. Si birthday boy, J-Boy Solis. Mukhang daman-daman yung greetings na yun. Ah, ng happy birthday. Ah. <laughs> Pacheck kaya, pa-checkin niya natin ano, medical staff. Ito muna ang checkin natin kung ano nangyari dyan. Ayun! Aray ko. Naku, sumabit. On a spin balls. move. Oh. Lapit na ko ismas eh. Diba jingle bell yun? Jingle balls? Ah, jingle bell. Oh, nga pala. Jingle bell, jingle, jingle bell. bell. 18-13. Napaupo tuloy muna uh-huh. si J-Boy Solis. Pinaupo na rin muna si Soliman Chabio. Lima ang lamang ng San Lorenzo. Lordy Jeronimo replacing J-Boy Solis. Jeronimo on a quick attack. Aggressive. Pagpasok pa lamang. Now he gets a foul. Laban kay Louis Vargas. Lord Jeronimo knows that he's more matured. Mas mautak siya at mas malakas against Louis Vargas. Kung baga, tuturuan kita kung paano gumalo sa post. Eh, sino magtuturo sa kanya sa free throws? Si Coach Mike sa gigit. Ayan. Ayan, ating mga bossing. Uh, Coach Horacio Lim, Boss Bernard Yang. Uh, Coach Melo Navarro and our uh, president, Boss Franklin Ebedente. Welcome back! Oh, pero wala dyan, ha? Yung boss natin, si Boss Tommy Ong, uh-huh. nanunood sa atin, minomonitor yung kung paano ba tayo mag-cover sa ballgame. At yung uh, total uh, output natin sa coverage, the whole thing itself, na talaga nagkikreate na rin ang attraction sa mga basketball fans. Tamantala. Si Rick Valdivia, long time no see, boy. <laughs> is in the game right now para kay Coach Bonnie Garcia. Ah, 
Archie Sunga puts up the long three. No. Chelo Sablan right now with the basketball. And then the three on its way. It's still off. Charles Scaliano rebound Lord Dean and 18-14 for Colegio de San Lorenzo. Ito si Didier Rick Maganga is in the ball game. Para sa Olivares. Puts up the shot. Medyo off point timing nito. Eh. Kulang pa ng uh, paghasa ng kanyang fundamentals. Pero he is athletic. I agree with you. Batang-bata pa to si Maganga. Pero do sa last violation na na-commit doon ni Jelo Sablan, a traveling was called by referee Alan Manzano. Four-point lead para sa San Lorenzo. Archie Suma, the way Lord Di Geronimo. Hindi ko yata masyado nakikita dito yung pressure defense kung saan kilala itong Olivares. Maganga will go to the line for two free throws. Tama ka, no? Coach Mike, Mike Sagigit doesn't want to gamble too much. No, kasi pag po pressure ka, you're, you're, try, you would, you're ano, eh, prone to turnovers. So ayaw niya yun kasi mahirap eh. Importante yung ball game. So uh, gusto mo maging conservative yung depensa mo. Yung play, play by play ang iyong depensa. Basok. This is the scoreboard right now. Didier Rick Maganga. You know, actually, he's number four when it comes to shot blocks. Missing the second one. Pero nabawasan ang lamang ng San Lorenzo. Taklo na lamang. Charles Caliano. Remember, Chabio is on the bench. Sablay. Valdivia. Di rin pumasok para kay Sablan. Jelo Sablan will try again. Dishe, Valdivia, underneath, finding a way to score. Improvised shot ang ginawa doon ni John Roas because Maganga really went, went after a block. 2015, lead is 5 para San Lorenzo. Maganga puts it up, almost getting it. Kurt Gohar is in the game para kay Coach Bonnie Garcia. Valdivia going Caliano. Five and a half here in the first half. And John Rojas at close range. Now bringing their lead up to seven points, 22-15. Here in the second quarter. Great ball movement here. Great find. When you have the size, you're getting some advantage lead on the San Lorenzo. John Rojas with that last basket. Now the largest lead for San Lorenzo in the first half. Welcome back. This is Season 2 of UCBL, second round of eliminations. Ito, updating tayo yung ating mga individual performers, especially when it comes to foreign players. So yung mga imports natin, dahil meron tayong award to be given. Ito si Adama Jakiti ng Diliman is at number one. Yan po yung kanilang index of success yung nakikita niyo on your screens. Chabio is number two. Raul Yemeli is at number three. Yung Rodrigue Bondo, most probably it will just stay that way, 142. Then Ibukao Minozi 91 at si uh, David Adibola capping yung ating uh, six individual foreign players. At dito nga po sa UCBL, we're giving you a chance to see yourselves on TV. Sakay makakita na liga na ganyan. Ha? Same day, mapapanood din yung ball game live dito po sa Olivares. And then mapapanood nyo ang sarili nyo on TV. Pag nakaunang kayo, eh pag ang umiti kayo ng umiti, Talaga makukunan at makukunan kayo. Mahagip kayo ng camera. Samantala, Archie Sunga with a turn. It's a miss. The seven-point lead stays. And most probably, they would want to increase that. Itong San Lorenzo with Jelo Sablan. Kurt Gohar now going John Formento. 
Formento. Now Caliano has it. Shot clock. Bumababa. Down to seven. Caliano. Shadow Malay use a basket. Caliano trying to get closer. They go John Formento with a quick release for the three. Just at the buzzer, hitting his first basket. Right place at the right time for John Formento. Loose ball na yon, nabitawan ni Charles Caliano, pero Formento knocking the three point shot. Had 19 in their previous game. He is actually a deadly shooter. Samantala, Sungag, Lordi Geronimo. Shot clock, bumababa, down to three. Dwight Sagigid has to put it up long distance. No. Rebound, Yanni Eli, but a bad pass. Lead is 10 for San Lorenzo. Here comes Jalo Sablan, who is fouled hard by Lord Di Geronimo. You know, what's good with San Lorenzo is, ito, makikita natin yun, na tumama pa sa pae, eh, oh. buzzer beater three-point shot by John Formento. Ang gusto kong i- i- uh, sabihin dito, San Lorenzo is up by 10 points. Jello Sablan was fouled hard here by Lordy Hieronimo. So may two free throw si, si Jello Sablan. Lamang ng 10 points dito ang San Lorenzo with Chabio sitting down and Kaya resting ka. on the bench. Kuminsan nakakalito yun eh no? Pero huwag muna tayo malito at pakinggan muna natin si Nicky Viola. Bukod kay J-Boy Solis na nagsiselebrate ng birthday ngayon, ay nagselebrate din ng birthday ang team captain ng Olivares College, si Noy Bermudez. At uh, kanina nakita ko uh, during the time out na talagang uh, very uh, hands-on na siya sa pagtulong uh, sa kanyang mga teammates na mga gagawin. Lalo na kailangan doon nila i-apply ang kanila mga natutunan through their uh, last game against the CEU. Kailangan doon nila i-apply ang maturity sa loob ng court at dapat o wag daw ang mag-relax habang naglalaro dito sa game na ito. Thank you guys. So si J-Boy Solis, hindi mo nakita no? kung ano nangyari sa kanya? Ay, itatanong po natin yan at babalikan ko po kayo. Okay. Hello? 26-17 para sa San Lorenzo. Tres won't work. Falls short for Jello Sablan. Paolo Castro. They lost it. They lost it. Errors they could not afford to make when they're trailing. 26-17 for San Lorenzo. And welcome back dito pa sa Olivares Coliseum as we continue to give you an update. Ito naman sa mga local players natin, ang mga outstanding performers. Look at Joe Reyna Poles, ang index of success niya. He tops them all from TIP po yan. Si Joe Reyna Poles, then Romel Saliente, bago lang yan. LPU Batangas coming in at number two. Fajardo, the reigning MVP, is at number three. Then Jericho Mondala, nandiyan si Jelo Sablan. And Brian Buen ng LPU Batangas. So, dalawang players ng LPU Batangas. E nandiyan sa ating uh, six outstanding performers so far dito sa Season 2 ng UCBL. Oh, basically, kaya natin pinag-uusapan yan dahil magbibigay tayo ng award dito. No? Mythical five members. And MVP, MVP foreign MVP. Alam mo, explain natin, explain natin sa mga televiewers natin yung index of success, Coach Bojik. Well, basically, kung paano sila nanalo eh. Diba? Kung ano yung naging, uh, naging role nila sa team. Uh, kung ano kaganda ang kanilang percentage sa kanilang uh, success sa uh, pag-score. Pag-score, rebounds, pag defense, uh, yes. Those kind of factors to be considered. Pero yung binabanggit nga natin, yung index of success, yung... Kung baga, mas marami kang panalo, mas, mas marami ka na itutulong, nabibilang yung minuto mo, na pagka nasa loob ka, mas maganda tinatakbo ng offense din yun, di ba? Eh, kasi kinukuha din sa stats yun. Pagpasok Oo. mo ba, yung taong binabantayan mo, hindi na isko, o nakakaskor ba, o ba? yun. Yun yung part ng index of success. So actually, ano yan eh, fee ba yan eh, no? Ah, nag-introduce yan eh. Uh, And we're also applying it here. Meron silang ano dyan, ah... Uh, Ang tawag doon, meron silang Gage? formula. Oh, formula, okay, formula yes. sila on how to get that. 29-20 para sa San Lorenzo. 
Joshua Almaheda. He fouled out of the ball game the last time around. Steal by Charles Caliana. Look at him go and finishing that fast break. Five straight points for Coleo de San Lorenzo after that steal of Caliano. The lead is up to 11 right now para sa San Lorenzo. Solomon Chabia was back in the game. Another steal! John Rojas going. John Formento for another three. That one is short. Begasso the rebound. Last two minutes ng ating uh, second quarter. Almaheda going Paulo Castro. Castro going Almaheda. Almaheda is fouled. Good secondary defense by Chabio blocking that shot. It could have been an end one for Joshua Almaheda, pero kailangan to mag two free throws. Taking a look at this piece of action, Kusan si uh, John Formento was able to connect to the three pointer. And now, ito yung steal ni Charles Scaliano. Now, you have to be very, very careful with that basketball. Kanina nga, nabanggit na nga sa atin ni Nicky Viola. They're trying to apply what they have learned from that heartbreaking loss against CEU. At sabi ko nga, nung magsimula ang ball game na ito, yung starters, they have this serious game face. Pero right now, kung kailan pa kanina nakaupo si Chabio at saka pa lumayo at lumaki yung lamang nitong San Lorenzo. Hindi na samantala. Dapat dito sa mga ganyang sitwasyon na nakaupo, ang number one scorer na kalaban mo, sinasamantala nyo yan. Dahil yun yung pagkakataon nyo makalamang, makadikit. Pero ngayon, bad news because Chabio is inside the game. Split charities para kay Joshua Almaheda. They're playing catch-up. They're down by 10 right now. 31-21. Ito na ba yung pressure defense ng Olivares? Pero Charles Caliano was able to cross it and quickly going to Chabio, who is well covered by Yanni Eli. Long two, patay! Para kay John Formento. Oh, John Formento now has nine points. Correction, that's 11 points. Vin Bigasso. And not a thing that you would want to do. Pinersa yung sitwasyon. And an offensive foul is not going to help them out. And that's his third, Vin Bigasso. Double-double the last time around against CEU. But you're in foul trouble. And still with a minute and 24 due to the first half. Aray ko! Masakit nga naman yun. Pinansalo yung mukha. Caliano. Chamio. Shot clock down to seven. Long three. Ayaw. Yanni Eli the rebound. Dwight Sagiga, catch and shoot. Still can't hit it. And then sa ilalim, a foul that's going to be called. Laban rito kay Yanni Eli. Siya nga ba? Hindi, tumama yung bola sa board. Ah, si Chabio is the leading scorer sa Coleo de San Lorenzo with 10 points. John Formento, 8 points pa lang pala dito sa ball game. Uy, tinamaan ni John Formento. A jump shooter. Dwight sa gigit. Kung sa 3-point area yan, that would mean 3 free throws for Dwight sa gigit. Tingnan natin dito sa review. Nakaapak sa linya. Ay, hindi. Binigyan ng 3 free throws. Oh, ba, sa angle ng referee, mas kita niyan. Oo nga. So Dwight Sagigit registering his first numbers dito sa ball game na ito. Two of two so far. Five points na si Dwight Sagigit dito sa ball game with four rebounds and two assists. Two of three in that trip to the line. Nakapasok lang ni Irvin Ancheta. Impact player kagada ka nangyari sa kanya. With that rebound. 33-23 San Lorenzo by 10. And only 44 seconds remaining here in the first half.
When you're trying to get more possessions, of course, you think that who is actually responsible for getting more possessions because of rebounds. Si Adama Jakiti Paren and Diliman is at number one. Then Solomon Chabio is at number two. Yemeli, the University of Batangas, comes in at number three. Uh, the Bola ng Bulacan State University is at number four. And look who's there. Kaisa isang local, si Dominic Pajardo, almost 10 rebounds per ball game. Well, Pagtinin na mo lahat ng stats, no? Pati sa index, dikit na dikit si Chabio, tsaka si Adama Jakite. Pero nakaka, ano rin eh, no? Na gusto rin natin makita yung mga locals natin eh. Kanina, when it comes to scoring, mas ahead si Joe Reyna Poles kay Dominic Fajardo. But Dominic Fajardo, pagdating sa rebounding, is nandun siya. Kabilang niya mga foreign players. Kaya nga pag pinag-usapan natin yung mga MVP, mga stats, it's not only about scoring. Marami pa talagang factors yan pinag- oh, naman. na kinukonsider. So, it will really be a battle. <laughs> Whoa! Opportunity to really go up high. Slam a jammer for Solomon Chabio. He went left. He slows down. Yanni Ele fell down. So it was it was a big dunk by Chabio. Here it comes James Alvarado. Alam ko dadunk ni si James Alvarado. Nagtitrail jump na si Chabio doon. Baka magbintes. Idadakdak niya ulit eh. And then Dwight Sagigit. Trying to beat the buzzer. Pero bago natapos itong ating first half, well, what did we expect from the main man, Solomon, to put on a show? Chabio. They have a big lead here. Look at this isolation move. Solomon Chabio getting away from Yanni Eli and look at him up, up, and away with that dunk. So right now, it's 37-23. Pinakamalaking lamang na San Lorenzo to end the first 20 minutes of action. At bago po natin pasimulan itong ating uh, third quarter, uh, second half, at ang sa first half, ito nga po, lumaki na at uh, umakit sa labing apat ang lamang ng San Lorenzo laban dito sa Olivares. Once again, this is UCBL Season 2, our time to shine. Benji Santiago, kasama ko pa rin si Coach Bujing Akot. Ito napaka-importante para sa dalawang teams na ito dahil kumbaga, itong Olivares ay umaasa na makaakit at uh, maungusan o kaya man lang eh, kahit pa paano magawa ng paraan na makaakit nga doon sa top 2 natin for that twice to beat advantage. Pero of course, this ball game, eh, marami pa silang kailangan gawin dito, Coach Bujing. Ay, ang pinaka-importante dito is makabawi muna ang Olivares no, sa kanilang depensa. Ang nangyari kasi, they're playing conservative basketball, pero nag-create pa mas maraming turnovers sa kanila. You know, if they're playing uh, an Oliver, Olivares style of basketball, it's a pressure defense from backcourt to frontcourt. So, mas madali na ibababa ng bola ng San Lorenzo, kaya kampante sila na nakaka-execute ng kanilang opensa. Really, we did not see much of that pressure defense na usually na ginagawa ng Olivares. Maaga, maganda sana yung pasimula nila. Of course, kita mo nga, may awa pa for, for the birthday boy na si J-Boy Solis. Of course, markado naman talaga sa ball game na ito. In every ball game that San Lorenzo will play, this is the guy that they will go to, si Soliman Chabio. At Soliman Chabio having his way, palit-palit ng mga defenders laban sa kanya, umi-score pa rin siya. And then John Rojas also helping out in the basket. Malaki naman yan. How about John Formento coming off the bench already with 8 points dito sa ball game na ito? So from outside, my threat, and then look at this. Lalo na yung threat when he's near the basket. Of course, we're talking about Solomon Chabio. 8 of 30 lang ang field goal ng Olivares dito, Coach Bujing. Uh, we're talking about this at uh, the start of the half. Ito ang turnovers. Dito ako mas, masyadong ano, uh, concerned. Olivares has 11 turnovers and only 5 for the Griffins. E alam nga natin na mas maraming pressure basketball ang ginagawa ng Sea Lions. Pero sa sitwasyon na to, sila pa ang maraming turnover. So mas maraming nagkakaroon ng chance na maka-score ang San Lorenzo. Pagdating sa points in the paint, it was 6 and 20. So ibig sabihin, Chabio, John Rojas, Jello Sablan, making the basket comfortably dun sa shaded lane. Bench points, 12 points for the San Lorenzo because 8 points for John Formento, 4 points for Charles Calyana, and only 5 points 
for the Sea Lions. Ibig sabihin, more team effort ang kailangan dito ng Sea Lions. Ayun nga, sa ating individual scoring, ano, makikita natin dito. Nabanggit mo. Bench points ng Olivares, 5. Five, five lang. Dalawa ang nakapagtala niyan para rito sa Olivares, si Dwight Sagigit at saka si Archie Sunga. Over at the other side, Shabio, who's going to stop him? He's already got 12. Maraming minuto pa na umupo yan, ha? Hindi ba nag-double-double? Hindi, hindi naman. Hindi pa ba? Hey, Double check natin yan si Chabio. Rebounds, rebounds. Well, sa rebounding, 6 <laughs> pa lang. 6 eh. so, lang. Ay, hindi umabot. Pahina. Pero remember, nakaupo siya <laughs> na second quarter. Yun, 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 eh. Yung umalagwa. Yung uh, kalamangan na San Lorenzo. It really made a lot of difference. Pero a lot of uh, adjustments ang kailangan ng Olivares to bring it close, to play catch-up. Well, titignan natin dahil gusto natin makakatch up pa sa mga schedule natin dito sa UCBL. Sa darating po na Webes, ito ang ating bakpakan ng uh, Bulacan State University Gold Gears. Laban po yan sa LPU Batangas Pirates. And of course, ang TIP Engineers. Laban naman yan sa Diliman College Blue Dragons. Sinatapos po natin at tinuubos natin yung schedule natin sa second round. Dahil alam namin, excited na kayo. Excited na rin kami na makarating na tayo dun sa top four para semifinals na tayo. Sa amin po pagbabalik ang second half of action itong ating first game dito po sa UCBL Our Time to Shine Ito na, simula na muli ang bakbakan between these two teams and that's the third quarter na tayo. Crystal Laman right now, siya ang nagpo-point para rito sa San Lorenzo. At ang Frigo Hyperflex Jeans, laging point of attraction, center of attention. Everywhere you go, pag meron kang Frigo Hyperflex Jeans. And you're wearing it, ha? Huh? Abantala, Solomon Chabio now has 14 points in the game. Social media, you can get in touch with us. We are on Facebook, we are on Instagram, we are on Twitter. So you don't miss out on anything. Gusto yung malaman ang uh, social life. Eh, yung Twitter may, uh, mo. Coach Bujing. <laughs> and then, At Bench Sports 21. Uh, sa akin naman, Pinoy Youth Dreamers. Oh, yeah. And then, pwede rin nyo na tayong, ano, i-catch sa Sports, Sports All, All In. in. Sai, S-A-I, uh, yan. Baga, binibigyan natin sila ng updates not only dito sa UCB. Pero syempre, mas marami tayong updates patungkol dito. Uh, sa Tuesday, tomorrow, tomorrow we'll go tomorrow. live sa Sports All In. Anong oras mo tayo dyan? Mga hapon yan, ano? Mga hapon, mga, mga 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock. Yeah. Na. Happy hour. I stay, uh, <laughs> Happy watching. <laughs> yeah. Chubby O Happy again. Viewing. Now, Olivares, Noy Bermudez, Ayaw, Kumonekta from the outside. Alvarado the rebound, he even out-rebounded. Two big guys, Vin Bigasso and J-Boy Solis. Bigasso breaking up that play. And San Lorenzo. Right now, the running shot falls short for Joshua Almaheda. Sablan, Alvarado. And there's a foul against J-Boy Solis. Uh, that was a quick drive by James Alvarado. Uh, J-Boy Solis is trying to get his rhythm after he getting hit sa sensitive part. You know, napakaupo siya. So, sa ulo ba yan? Sa ulo? Uh, sa ulo. Sa sensitive ulo. part. Amantala right now. Solomon Chamio again! Yeah, that's what we're talking about. You gotta double Chamio. Pag tanggap pa lang ng bola niya, i-double yun na. Take the ball away from him. Kasi pag hawak niya bola, most likely it will be a basket. Umakyat na sa pinakamalaki, 18 ang lamang nitong San Lorenzo. 
Vin Begasso spots. Yeah, Finally good, a basket for Olivares. Good thing Vin Begasso is confident taking that perimeter shot. Every time you're open, if you're Paolo Castro, Vin Begasso, you gotta take that shot. Anthony, the trapping defense, pero somehow, nawalang bigla. Chan Rojas, now Laman has it. 16 point lead. Solomon Chabio has 18 points in the game. Make that 20 right now. It's really hard to stop Chabio once he starts to jump. Walana, naka take off na. Baba ina. Two points again for Chabio. Six points here in the third for Solomon Chabio. All him for San Lorenzo. Joshua Almaheda escaping with that layup. <laughs> That was an acrobatic shot by Joshua Almeida. Sa sobrang galing niya, nabunggo niya yung cameraman natin. Uh, ah, up close and personal. <laughs> flapping daw, sabi ni Coach Melo Navarro. Uh -huh. Boss, hindi flapping, charging. <laughs> Charge hit to experience. A three on its way. Oh, jealous of Oh, plan. it's getting physical. Uh, John Rojas, Noy Bermudez, Joshua Almaheda. Uh. Well, what action after that three point basket, the Jelo Sablan? Something was going on outside of the play. Uh, Magbi meeting yang ating mga referees. You know, si referee Jeff, international referee Bong Pascual, and Alan Manzano. Uh -oh. Pag-usapan nila yan kung ano talaga nangyari, exactly what really happened. Of course, magre-review din yan ang ating mga technical group, especially Coach Horacio Lim. They are actually in that process right now. Nagre-review sila, that piece of action. Nadala, nung madaganan yung uh, cameraman natin. <laughs> Offensive foul yun. Talaga namang, ano yun eh, nadik-dik sa floor. Six minutes and 46 until that basket, the Jelo Sablan, the three-pointer, it was all Soliman Chabio with six straight points for Colegio de San Lorenzo. Now the lead is 19. Pinakamalaki na ito. Pag wala ka talagang Chabio, meron kang Jelo Sablan na sasalo. Eh, Kaya no? nga. So ito, upon the review, si referee Bong Pascual is reporting doon sa ating table officials. And... We're still trying to hear the official announcement. From the signal na nakita ko, it's a double foul Kaya nga eh. from both sides. But we're going to have it officially announced. Oh, eh, kailangan talaga yan. So that our our crowd, our fans will know also what's really transpired this action na yun. Yung attention, nakafocus kay Jelo Sablan, eh, shooting a three. He made that basket and then three players on the floor. So, hanggang ngayon, nag-uusap pa rin, ha? nagbibigay pa rin instruction si uh, referee Bong Pascual. Maraming players na involved yata eh. Well, from, from what we saw, from what I saw, it was Almaheda Rojas, then naging Bermudez Rojas. Das, <laughs> dubating si, si J-Boy Solis. Double foul on John Rojas, Joshua Almaheda. On sportsman like foul, Anoy Bermudez. On number 19, John Rojas of the Griffins. A compensating yung tawag doon. Ayun, nakakapit. Ito, naghata kami pababa si Joshua Almaheda at si John Rojas. Okay, bumaksak si Bermudez. Bumawi din naman si John Roas. So good thing the referee was there to stop the action. All right. So maganda yung judgment doon ng ating mga referees. Pero maganda na naman itong steal ni Chamio. Alvarado going Solomon Chabio. 
Kicks it out. Alvarado for three. Short. Chamio getting it back. Chamio hang time. Ayaw. De Gasso clears it for Olivares. And that's the second miss of Chabio dito sa quarter natin. De Gasso spots again. This one falls short. Jay Boy tapping it over to Paulo Castro. Tahimik si Paulo Castro again in this game. Almaheda. De Gasso. Solis. Shot clock one. Oh! Shot clock violation. All the penetration was well covered by the Griffins. Kaya naman na ubusan na shot clock ang Sea Lions. Five minutes and 48 here in the third. 46 27, 19 point lead para sa San Lorenzo. Jelo Sablan. Laman setting it up. Now Solomon Chamio. Shot clock down to five. It's down to three. There you go, Jelo Sablan. And a shot clock violation is going to be called. Laman was San Lorenzo. Tit for tat. Nikki, yes. Yes, Nikki. Yes, kanina ay uh, during the dugout ay inabot ni Coach Omay sa, sa gigit yung coaching board uh, kay Paolo Castro at sa iba mga players at tinignan niya kung ano yung mga suggestions ng mga players na pwede nilang gawin na play for uh, the second half. At dahil uh, tingin niya ay hindi nila sinusunod ang sistema ni Coach Omay kanina kaya hinayaan niya na mag-decide muna ang kanyang mga players at dahil nagkakanya-kanya na rin lamang daw ang uh, kanyang uh, team ay uh, tignan daw natin kung talagang obra daw yung talagang mga naiisip nilang pwedeng gawin uh, para mas sa makahabol sila sa kanilang kalaban uh, for today. Back to you guys. Well, sad to say na parang walang effect eh. Kasi mas lalo pa lumaki ito lamang ng San Lorenzo sa Olivares. So when you have your players trying to design plays for you, dahil nga hindi nga rin masunod eh. <laughs> ano pang gagawin mo rin, Coach Mujing? Uh, alam mo, kasi ano yan eh, uh, it's also a style of a coach. You know? I'm not getting the the, the game plan properly executed. Baka pagka kayo nag-usap-usap, merong magiging maganda resulta. But Pwede. so far, wala nga siya naging maganda resulta. But, you know, Coach Mike Sagigit is, is a well-versed coach, so di discarte gagawa ng paraan. Kagaya na ito, bigla nang pressure na ulit sila sa backcourt. Napakumit nga nila ng turnover ang San Lorenzo with 24 seconds shot clock. We'll see kung makakakaroon sila ulit dito ng magandang stop. Chelo Sablan crosses that midcourt line with ease. Laban kay Archie Suga. Laman. Chabio playing the outside. Shot up, down to five. Chabio on the attack. The familiar spin move. And he's got eight here in the third quarter. There was the, the help side defense of Rich Monsunga. But it was not well enough to go out and challenge the shot. You know, kailangan yun. The early double should come in before Chabio takes off. 20 point lead. Biggest so far for San Lorenzo. Sunga Lalata going nowhere with that pass. Luckily, may three seconds pa sila sa shot clock. Good challenge by Chabio. Nagbago ang tira doon ni Chris Lalata because Chabio suddenly shows up and jumps. They need a quick play. Ah, go! Uh, the screens was not set properly. There was no movement sa inbound ng uh, Sea Lions kaya nagkaroon sila ng five-second violation. Chris Lalan right now. Wow, all the way! You gotta force Tristan Laman to go to his left side. If you wanna stop him and delay him, Force him to his left hand because Tristan Laman is very strong to his right side. This is already a 22-point lead. The Babawasan with that three by Archie Sunga. They badly needed that basket by Richmond Sunga. Richmond has now eight points. Cello Sablan. Now Louis Vargas is back on the floor. Handles the basketball. Go with Cello Sablan. Sablan near the basket. Off oh, balance, Pero still scoring. Everything is going right for the C for the CDSL. You know, that was an off balance shot by Jello Sablan. 52 31. 
Sula again for three. It's short. Vargas the rebound. Lama na nagtawid. Vargas. Nagelo Sablan up against Mamed Navarro. Oy, ang ganda naman. Kitang kita. Nice fight by Jelo Sablan. Moving without the ball. James Alvarado. You know, Dwight, Dwight Sagigit was caught off guard. He was just standing, not moving around in defense. You know, Jelo Sablan is averaging at least four assists per ball game. And he's number three in that department. Ayan, no? Big lang. Lahat nakatingin kay Jelo Sablan. Walang nakakita kay James Alvarado. Uh, that was an unselfish play. Jelo Sablan was open for, for the three-point shot. Pero nakita niya. Open si Alvarado. Ito, si Binbigaso may offensive rebound. Pero malaki pa rin. Ito kanilang inahabol rito. 21-point lead, 54-33. Two minutes and 20 na titira here in the third quarter. Chamio lost it to Archie Suma. Quickly going Sagigit. Going for the man, not for the ball. Tristan Laman, unsportsmanlike foul. Ang itinawag. But Tristan Laman. And that'll mean two free throws para kay Dwight Sagigit. Plus ball possession para sa Olivares. This is what we're talking about. Hindi pwedeng basta i-dislodge mo sa kanyang puesto. Yung isang tao. And yung tao lang talaga ang binabangga mo. Uh, he really went after the man. You know, when he pushed yun, him yun out, eh. it was it was really too strong. And it can cause an injury ko talaga namang uh, na, na dudulas o nadapa yung, yung isang offensive player. So, syempre, nandito ang referee to control the ball game. It's getting physical. The referee has to, to be sharp. They have to call it tight because... You don't want to have any untowards incident. First time they met, 86-72, na panalo po yan ang San Lorenzo. The margin of victory was 14. Chris Lalata, tumutulong na ngayon sa production ng Olivares. He has, he has to make that basket para mapilitan si Chabio. Dumipin sa papalabas. Luis Vargas, go back to Charles Caliano. Caliano gets closer off the glass. Too strong, too hard. 92 seconds here in the third. John Formento coming up in a steal and a foul against Archie Sunga. And White Sagi, John Formento, nagkakabuhol buhol. Uh, sinasabi nga natin kanina, yung referee ang magkocontrol ng ball game. So, sa ganitong sitwasyon, nagkaagawa ng bola, nagkahawian. Richmond Sunga was called for a, a offensive foul. Dwight sa gigit, diving for the ball. Wala naman. Wala wala lang. Wala lang. Just, oh, wala just saying lang. hi to each other. Yes. Hi, hello. Excuse me, huh? excuse me. Ito <laughs> lang yun. Kamantala. Chavio with a floater. Hey, you... Hindi ko na alam ko paano didepensahan si Chavio. <laughs> yeah, that's the one thing that I can say. You know, he attacks left, he makes a basket. He attacks right, he makes a basket. Olivares with less than a minute remaining here in the third. Begaso unable to score. Ball will stay para sa Olivares. Siguro para pigilin mo lang talaga si Chavio is deny him from getting the ball. Diba? Uh, yung word na sinasabi really? sa barangay, asawahin mo. Uh -oh. Yun lang ang pwede mong gawin kay Chabio. Oh, pwede rin makiusap. Coach Bonnie, pagpahingay mo naman yung import mo. <laughs> Kaya sa pinagpahinga ka kanina second quarter. Lalo pa lumayo eh, eh, no? Doon nagsimula eh. Rabe, kicks it out. Another shot lock violation called against Olivares. Titira na nga si Richmond Sunga eh. Pero sino challenge? Eh, yun na nga. Eh, bigla lumabas na naman yung Chabio. Kasi yung ano nito, yung conditioning level nito, napakataas. Diba? Dubi upensa, dubi depensa. Ito yan. You know, they're still going to meet CEU. I think this is going to be on Saturday. Ayun, ang interesting doon. Dahil 
Yeah, if they win Talo this ball, San sa CEU the first, first time. Game. Uh, if they win the, today, automatically they have to win the, ge- uh, the game against CEU para maging magkaroon sila ng quotient, no? Para oh, sino magiging number, number one. one. Diba? The situation naman dito with Olivares who's currently at number three and of course, nagkakabul pa sila rito 20 puntos pa yan, no? na pwede pang dagdagan ni Louis Vargas. Sa second game natin, ang diliman, pag nanalo yun, didikit so, sila. Akit na rin sila. Ah, magiging tie sila, 8-5. So nga, lalata with a dunk! Ba may top board pa! Every opportunity, Chris Lalata sees that opening that opportunity to go sky high for a dunk he will do that impact points para sa kasakaling magkaroon ng malaking impact para rin sa Olivares na kas- sa kasalukuyan ay eh, nagahabol pa look at this nice setup job by Joshua Almaheda ante ah, hindi yung reverse you know? <laughs> yun pala yung incident na yun Relayout without na yun. cameraman si Nick uh, ito naman yung dakdak ni Chris Lalata yan yung top board sabi mo kay Nick Smile you're in the camera <laughs> it's 57-38 para sa San Lorenzo to end the third quarter Ito na final 10 minutes ng ball game na ito. Yes, this is the fourth quarter. Frigo Hyperflex Jeans continues to be a big supporter ng UCBL. And we are so happy. Coach Edster C, kamusta na? Napupuyat ka ba, Coach Edster? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's goaltending on Solomon Chabiel. Look at the scoring by quarters natin dito. Coach Mujing. Oh, basically, talagang sa lahat ng quarters... Masasabi natin, second quarter, lamang na lamang ang Griffiths. So, second quarter, yun nga yung sabi natin na nakaupo si Chabio, pero namayagpag pa rin ang Griffiths with 10 and 23. Chabio is still on the floor here for San Lorenzo. Shot clock 5 for San Lorenzo, Luis Vargas. Chabio has to put it up long distance, but it's an air ball. So, tigalawang shot clock violation ng magkabilang teams in this ball game so far. So far, both teams are doing a good job, you know, delaying the offense of uh, one another. Problema, malaki yun lamang na San Lorenzo. So, they have the big edge, the miss of the jump hook by Lalata. Uduba hard off the glass and Chamio clears it. Yung, yung normal shot na tinitira ni Chris Lalata ay na John Aduba is okay. Pero dito sa game na to, hindi okay because Chabio is challenging every shot. Kaya naman nagbabago ang kanilang mga tira. John Formento draws closer. He's in double figures. Well, he has now 11 points. John Formento. Lead is 19 para San Lorenzo. Well, one thing is for sure para rito sa San Lorenzo when they're going to face next ang CEU Scorpions. This is going to be a statement game. Eh. Maalala natin, Olivares lost just by three points. Olivares even had the chance to lead by 10 in that ball game last Saturday against CEU. Pero yung pitong three-point shots ni Orlan Wamar, that truly really made a lot of difference. 
yung mga binabanggit natin every time we're asking the coaches like CEU, walang Rodrigo, Ibondo so basically team effort mas nakakalito pa nga eh, dahil di mo na alam kung sinong go-to guy eh, no? dito sa San Lorenzo you will still see Soliman Chabio pero maganda yung uh, support na nakukuha niya kay Jeno Sablan, kay Charles Caliano kay John Formento he will just keep on doing his own thing si Chabio pero iba talaga yung may support ha Etong Olivares right now Well, ito rin very unpredictable din Di mo rin masabi kung sino talaga gagawa For a moment, Paolo Castro seems to be lost Two games na Di ba? Medyo nagiging malabo Yes, punta mo na natin si Nicky Viola Kanina kung mapapansinin natin ay hindi kompleto talaga ang lineup ng CDSL. Wala ang isa sa kanila mga players na si uh, Rostom Borja na hindi makakapaglaro ngayon dahil uh, may sakit. Ayan at nagpapahinga lamang. Pero kanina during the time out ay uh, isa lang naman yung uh, gusto, ay isa lang yung sinasabi ni Coach Bonnie Garcia sa kanyang mga team. Dapat makita ang equal distribution ng mga roles sa loob ng court at wag na wag daw iiwan na mag-isang gumagalaw si Chabio. Back to you guys. So yun maganda inaalalayan din nila talaga. Yun nga yung binabanggit ko eh. He's getting very very good support from the local players. Um, kung maga more comfortable na sila playing along with each other. Kaya yung, alam na nila yung kanila mga strength and weaknesses eh, itong uh, Coleo de San Lorenzo. It makes Chabio's job easier. He missed that floater. 59-42. Paulo Caso. Another goal tending against Solomon Chabio. You know, Paulo Castro has to assert himself, get the ball, and take it in, take it in. Kagaya nitong ginawa niya, no? Yan ang inihintay natin sa kanya, to be more aggressive in taking the shot. Well, tingnan naman natin ang opensa ngayon ng San Lorenzo with Solomon Chamio. Turn around shot, the ability to hang. Yan ang problema, eh. Nakababa na yung defender niya. Siya nandun pa sa ere, eh. Eh, matitemp ka kasi Benji like John Uduba nakita niya yung bola instead na challenge lang niya he feels that pwede mo palpalin so pinalo niya eh kaso bin, ni, binomba binaba yung Good tira guy. so naging foul so if you're playing against Chabio the best thing you can do is really challenge his shot hindi mo naman masusupalpal dahil napakataas tumalun so, tatapik-tapik ibang bago makaangat, pwede rin, pwede no? Pwede rin, oh. Pero once he makes that spin and he has that jump already, wala na. Just complete challenge. Well, Charles Caliano, most probably one guy is also very interested to get into the top five at least when it comes to steals. Ito, nakakuha na naman siya rito, eh. I don't see any signs from Olivares na makakahabol sila rito. Naibaba nila ito to 16 from a high of what? 23 points in this game? An opportunity like that could be one, a very good sign. Dahil nga tigil ang oras, pwede gumiscore si Paolo Castro. But I would like to see more on Paolo Castro taking a, a short jumper. Diba? Ito si Jelo Sablan. Pumasok na namin. So, bad news for, uh, for C. Lions. Dati, triple threat to. With John John Gabriel, Chabio, Jello Sablan. Uh -oh. Ngayon, double blade na lang. Ayaw naman pa iwan ni Charles Caliano. Kaya nga raw siya gumagawa. Parang triple threat pa rin kami. Eh, papasok pa si John Formento. Uh Oo -oh, nga. Yun pa isa. If these four players will be consistent sa kanilang upensa, then... It will be a big problem for the other teams na Now, makakalaban nila sa Final Four. Ang tanong ko dito, ano ang magiging advantage nila na ang CEU walang ibondo and they still have Solomon Chabio? It's the rebounding and it's the block, shot blocking. Kasi syempre the presence of Chabio itself, eh kakaiba na yan. For Ben to win a three, no. Aba, gumagawa na yata ng para ng Olivares. Oh! Aray ko, nakagat ko, dila ko. But that's a good sign, you know, for Coach uh, Mike Sagigit. Na talagang they're still pushing the ball down. They're still trying. You know, we'll see. Baka mamaya magkaroon ng silang intensity. Ito yung break na hinihintay nila. Just like that. They, have, they had a good stop.
And not only that, hindi na rin bago para sa Olivares. In fact, the whole experience in Season 1, hindi rin sila ang meron twice to beat advantage, eh, di ba? Pero nagawa nila ng paraan na makipagbakbakan sa championship, sa finals, laban sa CEU. Uh, actually, kalaban niya doon, TIP. TIP. One of the, one of the watch team sa Season 1. Pero... Dumaan sa butas ng karayong ang Sea Lions para umabot sa finals. Tama. Ito, Benji, 14 points lang lamang dito. With 6 minutes, kayang-kaya pa yan ng Sea Lions. They've been in this situation already. And they know how to win games by, by, by being an underdog. And they have to make the free throws. Yes, every opportunity to score, kailangan. They won't flub any of those. Five minutes and 44. Caliano. Botata ang inamot. Dimiko Tai kay John Rabe. Oh, this is not Dimiko Tai. I'm sorry. Si Caliso ito. Joshua Caliso. Joshua Caliso. Sorry. Oh. Now, ito si Joshua Caliso. Pops it up! Kaabot naman yung tira. Short nga lang. Si Miko Tay, mamaya pa pala yun, eh, no? sa diliman. <laughs> sa diliman, o nga. <laughs> De, pero lahat ng players kasi dito ni Coach uh, Bonnie Garcia na paglaro niya na. Kaya Oo, eh. medyo naguluhan ka dahil lahat ng players uh, was able to contribute properly. Cello Sablan. At productive thrust para sa Olivares. Here comes Solomon Chamio. Went for the shot. That means two free throws para kay Solomon Chamio. In Begaso. Wow, he fouled out of this game, si Vin Begaso. Not the usual numbers, the double double siya na nakaraan, eh, no? And Lalata replacing Vin Bigasso. Oh, Chabio played 30 big minutes dito sa ball game. Kaya siguro nagbimintes na rin sa free throws to dahil meron na rin halong pagod. Ayan, si Coach Horacio Lim, Boss Bernard Young, and Coach Melo Navarro. At ipang mga officers sa UCBL that includes, of course, si uh, Sir Tommy Ong and of course, uh, Mr. Franklin Dividente. Ang presidente ng UCBL as we take a look at Archie Sunga. J-Boy Solis. It's a matter of execution eh, para sa Olivares. Eh. You know, this is not going to be their last game. And of course, pasok na sila sa top four. That means still more battles ahead. Alam mo yung possibility na sila maglaban sa 2 and 3 spot yun pa, isa pa sa yun, semifinals ha? eh Nandun malaki yun. so I guess it's more on getting the experience in this ball game since hindi na makukuha ni Coach Mike yung number 2 spot eh he might as well you know try other options para pag nag meet sila ulit there's a big chance na makakita sila ng chance maka magkaroon ng puntos oh, okay. a block by J. Boy Solis is second in the ball game Shot clock, four seconds for San Lorenzo. Four minutes and six remaining in the game. So there goes Solomon Chabio, who missed. Natamaan pa sa ulo, so two free throws. It's really hard to guard Chabio. When he jumps, akala mo pataas vertical. Pero yeah. in that situation, pa horizontal, pa sideways. Kaya napalo ni Chris Lalata yung ulo ni Chabio. Minsan lang talaga magmintis ng free throw to si Chabio. He's really good in free throws. You know, he has now uh, 7 out of 9. Ano, 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 ano? Sabi mo? Uh, <laughs> nag-7 out of 10. 70% free throw shooter. Pwede pa rin. Pwede pa diba? rin. Considering they're oh, playing naman. like 31 minutes sa ball game. Pero tinatiming talaga eh, no? At saka isasamblay yung free throw eh. <laughs> Nabati eh. 
John Rojas, three and a half in this game. 14 point lead. Caliano unable. Solis now Almaheda. Paulo Castro driving. Hule! Chabio coming up with another shot block. A pangalawang block shot na yan, eh, Chabio. Formento missing. Chabio. And of course, Jello Sablan. One two punch. The San Lorenzo. Almaheda will be replaced by Dwight Sagigit, pero may dalawang free throws para kay Jello Sablan. Three minutes and ten. And coming up, four straight losses ng Diliman. Mabasag na kaya, matigil na kaya. They're gonna be going up against University of Batangas. Ito naman, kumbaga... Yung mga spoilers role ba? Yung know, mga teams natin na uh, medyo nasa iba pa ng ating uh, standings. Yan naman ang intention. Thank you, University of Batangas Brahmins later on. And this is one one good day for UCBL. Ah, na makita natin ang uh, Soliman Chabio. He's number two when it comes to scoring and rebounding and shot blocks. Mamaya makikita naman natin yung number one in scoring and rebounds and shot blocks. Of course, si Adam Jaquite for Diliman. 65-48 as of the moment. Two minutes and 36 pa natitira in this ball game. Welcome back dito po sa UCBL, our time to shine. And of course, dito nga po sa Olivares Coliseum, we're letting you in on all of the wonderful and beautiful things that we have to offer you. Ah, kita mo nga naman. Eh? Para sa'yo, pari ko. <laughs> Repa Pips, Pet Malu. Yon. <laughs> Two minutes and 20 remaining here in this ball game. Dwight Sagigit can't knock it down from the outside. John Formento the rebound. Well, from all indications here, let's see. Kung makagawa pa ng parang dito ang Olivares, pero of course, gumagamit na ng oras ang San Lorenzo. As Charles Caliano puts it up from the outside, wala. Dwight Sagigit. Because sometimes it's more of the execution. At yung binabagit mo nga, Coach Bujing, the anticipation also na pwedeng sila ang magtagpo dun sa ating semis. Oo. Alam mo, masasabi natin na nagbabasahan tong coaches. Eh. It's going to be a chess match Oo, if yun, they yun. meet again sa semifinals. Kaya nga naman dito, pinagpahinga na ni Coach Bonnie Garcia si Chabio because he, almost 33 minutes naglaro dito <laughs> sa ball game. E 40 minutes lang tayo dito, eh, no? 33 minutes. Pero walang makakatalo sa atin. Bakit? Ilan tayo? Isang game, 40 minutes. Susunod, 40, <laughs> 40 minutes, minutes. pa Walang Ay, substitution, ah, Pater. Walang, walang substitution. Walang sub. Ayan ang mabigat dun. Floater. Ayaw for Caliano. Duba the rebound. A minute and 20. And this impending win para sa San Lorenzo will cement 
Well, actually, pwede pang bumakbak sa number one nga naman dahil pareho na sila na CEO eh. 11-1. Coached system ang mangyayari doon, di ba? Pero magtatagpo pa sila eh. O, pag nagtagpo, baka maghatakan pa sila. Sa Saturday. Oh, kung sino yung mag number one, pwede pa rin, pwede pa rin oh, eh. No? Hindi, pwede nga silang hindi magtay eh. Dahil nga magkikita pa sila ng CEO. At saka remember, CEU was only beaten once so far. It was Diliman College na tumalo sa kanila. Who will see action later? San Lorenzo, isa lang ang talo. It was against CEU. So ang ganda ng mga ano, eh, scenario, no? Pero yung time na yun, naglaro si Roderick Ebondo oh, and John oh. John Gabriel. Oh, oh. Yun, Pero yun, sa yun. susunod na makikita sila, parehas, walang... walang iba na yung sitwasyon. Oh, iba sitwasyon. Walang Roderick Ebondo, walang John John Gabriel. So it's going to be an even match. Yan. That's in the coming schedule natin, ano? Habang inuubos natin ang... Uh, eto nga, yung mga scheduled games natin for the second round. And then we will be starting with the semis, ang ating top four. Buo na yung top four. Position na lang. It's going to be number one, two, three, and four. Yun yun eh. It is all over. The difference was in the second quarter. Dagdag puntos pa para kay Dwight sa gigit. And it's all done. A victory again. Umulit ang San Lorenzo laban sa Olivares. 65-54. Still that double-digit margin of victory na naitala nitong uh, San Lorenzo laban sa Olivares. Well, just stick around dahil ang ating best player of the game. Ay, malalaman natin sa ilang sandali. Truly deserving nga naman. And uh, take a look once again ang ating final score of victory for San Lorenzo tying CEU with an 11-1 and win-loss record sa ating team standings. But uh, of course, tuloy-tuloy pa rin tayo dito sa ating second round of eliminations. Ayan na po, kasama ni Nicky Viola. Walang iba kung di si Soliman Chavio. Look at those numbers, 25 points, 13 rebounds, 2 assists, and 2 shot blocks for Soliman Chabio. Ang hirap, ang hirap maghanap ng itatapat kay Soliman Chabio. Yun ang nakita natin sa ball game na ito, Coach Bujing. Not only that, he played 33 minutes dito sa ball game. So grabe talaga ang presence pa lang ni Chabio sa ball game. Iba na. Every time he's in the, in the shaded lane, he's challenging all the shots of the Sea Lions. Nagbabago yung tira ng Sea Lions. So, yung impact ng ni Chabio, offensa, defensa, is really a big factor sa panalo dito ni Coach Bonnie Garcia. Ayan nga po. So, congratulations kay Soliman Chabio and another big congratulations. Kasama ka natin rito si Coach Bonnie Garcia. Of course, Punahin muna natin yung kwento na yung John John Gabriel is most probably going to be providing moral support na lang <laughs> para sa inyo. Uh, Nandun pa kami sa point na ano eh, papaalam namin siya. Uh -huh. uh, hopefully, hopefully. Pero andito siya, pupunta siya. Kanina lang may insayo talaga sila sa PP. Pero ito, itong ball game na ito, alam naman natin, of course, yung top four buo na yan eh. Position yeah. na lang ito, oh. Coach Bonnie. So, anong klase ba yung nakita mo? Alam ba yung na-anticipate mo na pinagandaan mo laban dito sa Olivares? Yung kasing kailan, ma -ma yung, yung domination namin, na uh, even though they're playing at, at home, yung depensa namin, kailangan maramdaman ng, uh, ng, ng Olivares din yun. So, we cannot take them lightly talaga kasi yung crowd din eh. Uh -oh. It so happened, meron kami yung chubby na nakukuha namin yung konti ng crowd nila. Yeah. Kasi <laughs> <laughs> sila makakita ng showtime, nakikita yeah, yeah. kay Soliman Chubby yun. Eh. Correct, correct. Nakukuha namin yung konting crowd nila. Yeah, Coach Bucci. Well, Coach Bonnie, unang-una, congratulations. No? Thank you. Uh, you're buying for number one. Yes, Basically, so. one and two ang pinag-uusapan dito. Give it a chance. Would you like to play against Diliman or Sea Lions in the third or fourth spot? Well, wala naman kami, wala kami pinipili. Pero siyempre, ito pa rin yung, ano, yung uh, nakakatakot din kalaban. Lahat naman ito eh. Uh, eh pero give it a chance. Just putting uh, you on a hot seat. Sino? Uh, siyempre, ito pa rin yung may six man dito. Eh. Mabigat na kalaban yun. So, if I were given a chance and a choice, just go. 
nakakatakot din itong dileman. I don't know. Sa hindi ka makasagot, ha? I don't know. I don't know. So, kung sino lang ibigay sa taas, siguro, yun na lang sa amin. Good try. Good God. Good try, Coach. So, Coach Mori, ayan, bubati ka na yung message mo sa San Lorenzo community. Yeah, again, thank you. And keep on supporting our team. And dahan-dahan, nandun na tayo. We were getting there sa final point. Maging twice to beat tayo. Just uh, maging healthy pa and uh, everything is going to be okay for the team. See But, you as soon as you Yeah, no. Bulakan. Bulakan mula. Then ah, see you in last game. Okay. <laughs> I just want to greet yung ano, sure. si Boss Kenneth at CJ. Happy birthday, CJ. Okay. Ayan. Si Boss Jimmy Lim. Boss Jimmy nasa sure, yeah. Iceland. Parating na yun and itetext ko na lang yun. <laughs> At least, puro good news. <laughs> Text mo. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Alright, huwag po kayo kaalis dahil susunod natin. Ano, sa bakbakan pa rin natin dito sa UCBL, ang Diliman College Blue Dragons, laban naman sa University of Batangas Province. UCBL, our time to shine.